Hello there, welcome on my channel ID for Card, and today we are going we are going to talk about the Volkswagen Connect ID app uh, for the ID4. It will be the same for the ID3, but this is the uh, first Max edition. My car is the first Max Max edition, and I hope I can uh, show everything with what this car is capable of with the app. Um, so let's uh, start. Let me start with uh, currently what, what software I have. It's updated on 14th uh, December 2020. And uh, it, I am currently on 1.4.0, version 1.4.0. Uh, now, let's start. What can we do with the application of Volkswagen Connect V Connect ID? So, this is my screen. It uh, tells uh, immediately. Hello Furkan, my name, if you are uh, type, uh, if you did written that on the uh, uh, start tab. Uh, what you can see immediately is you can start the air, air conditioning. Uh, I didn't start it yet, but it uh, shows. Uh, uh, and my charge level, uh, which is 71% with 236 kilometers left. It says start charging, but I'm not connected anywhere, so that's a question. Uh, I would like to uh, answer why it's showing there. And beside that, this is my home screen. So it says edit home screen. If I press on it, I don't have any more options. I hope they will uh, give us more widgets in the future. But for now, these are the two options you can see uh, at the start. Let's go back. We go to my car. Uh, at the start, when you are uh, reg when you register this car, this first line here, that which says ID Furkan, will be uh, your uh, FIN number, your uh, uh, car number, which you can change in the options. I will show you in a minute. Uh, well, basically, it's the same what you are seeing from the home screen. Uh, your charge level is there and you can start your uh, AC or uh, air conditioning from the tops. Beside that you have the option to uh, set, set a departure time and then select your uh, service partner which will be your uh, dealer uh, which you prefer to use. Uh, in my case it's just the dealer I uh, picked the car up from. And uh, as last we have the settings. Now let's start with the AC. It's basically the same uh, as uh, as the main screen, if I see on this, as, uh, if I go back, you only see the temperature and the start. Then we'll just put the temperature and it will start. But from this side, if you set the AC, you can select which side it chooses to uh, uh, heat the uh, cabin up. And uh, you can just select the side and press start and it will just... Uh, uh, yeah, heat the car up. Uh, I just want to do one live demo. I'm going to start AC up and then uh, I am interested how long it takes before it just heats up. So, uh, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I just started. I put, uh, let's say, the left seat and I just started right now. Uh, it says signal, signal crossing, single crossing. Man, English is really difficult. And uh, which, from my understanding, it takes around 40 to 60 seconds before the car reacts on a commando. So, let's talk. Well, basically, that was not 60 seconds, that was 10 seconds, by the way. But the car already reacted on my commando. It turned from blue to greenish. My app says still synchronizing. I don't hear I don't hear the ventilation yet. Well do I feel anything? Not yet. Anyway uh, so many Let's wait some uh, seconds more. 
let me move, let me feel if there's air flowing. No, no air yet. Hmm. Now I feel something. I mean, sorry for this real-time test. But this took... This is very interesting. Now, let's go back. Is it synchronized? No, not yet. Well, anyway, let's move on. You see how long it takes. And we go further with uh, temperature time. Hey, it started. I heard something. There it is. Whew. That took like two minutes. And then it blows, blows from every ventilation hole. Yeah, there, yeah. Okay, that's uh, that's your pre-air condi conditioning, which you can also set on a preset temperature time, then it will also heat the car up. But it will also heat the car uh, easier because he knows when, you, when the car needs to uh, blow up. But if you want to do it immediately, you need to wait at least two minutes or around that. I don't know how long it, it, it took. So back to the temperature time, you can set your uh, Weekdays set your uh, yeah the air condition and this 19 is based on this 19 so if you put that higher uh, it will be different but no that's your depth time more you can't just can't set yet uh, I think if you add it from the car you will see more uh, difference different uh, Temperature time. No. Go back. As less service partner eight point. No, that's no. You can change it, and it will show every place uh, in the neighborhood. And as last, but very important place settings. Uh, you can uh, change things from your phone. Uh, in this case, your charging, uh, total charging, you reduce AC charging, uh, and also the option to automatically release the AC cable. Uh, this last one is very handy if you are on, uh, let's say, a pu public loading uh, charger where there is, uh, let's say, a time limit or a restaurant and you just don't want to go outside and the person which charged next can just plug it out and put it in his car. Of course, it's uh, not necessary and that's why it's uh, not selected. Uh, you can also select uh, X-ray air conditioning. Uh, basically, it starts your airco when you're starting your car, or at least opening your car. No, let's uh, let's put that op uh, on. And automatic window heating. So, if it's frozen or uh, uh, let's say uh, it's condensed, is the right word. Uh, it will put. The air away so I put that also on and as last let's put this on done so it will just save it uh, and then uh, as last I have the option in this car to have uh, a mobile di data because this car can you can be used as a mobile hotspot uh, now let's see how that uh, works now you press on the data plans then you will be uh, moved to a website in this case uh, uh, Volkswagen VW point cubic telecom point dot com. Uh, you can try it free or you can uh, immediately uh, go down and buy some data. Uh, as you can see, it uh, can be used in uh, lots of cars, mostly 2020 and 21 models, and the ID4 right here. Uh, what does it cost exactly? Important question. It costs 5 gig gigabyte is 15 euros with uh, including foot. Uh, no, 2 gig gigabyte 7 euros and 25 gigabyte is 72 euros, which is valid for third. Uh, the biggest one is uh, valid for 36, uh, 365. The smallest one 30 days and the middle one is 90 days. 
So that's that. If you really need data and if you don't have hotspot at all, you can use the car as hotspot. So interesting uh, uh, reason. Maybe it's handy if you have, uh, let's say, a taxi or kids in the backside and uh, you need to leave and you can't leave your phone uh, back. So you can use the hotspot of your car. Just an idea. It's it, it's it, it's a great idea, to be honest. But I think the prices are a bit too high. Well, yeah, considering in the Netherlands it can be high, but prepaid 15 euros for five gig gigabytes, it's actually actually not bad. You can have better deals, but this is fine. Maybe this one, yeah, it feels too much if I put five times uh, five gigabyte, you come at uh, 75 euros, so you do get a discount of three euros. So that's that. Going back uh, to this, uh, in the start I said uh, ID4 card. Uh, it said your fin number, your uh, name. So this thing, not this thing, but this thing on the upper side here. Here, you can change it from the settings and from the name. And then you can change your fin to something uh, personal, like uh, my YouTube channel, ID Furkan. So, so go back. Uh, I'm interested if this works. I'm gonna change my uh, charging percentage and let's see how does how long does that also uh, take to edit. If that's the same as the AC, then we know how long it uh, takes. Uh, on a momento, is it working? It's not working. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try it like this because my sure okay my, it's working I just started it my home screen it's loading connection you know what let's try it online mode and then uh, vehicle and then go to charging please and then I'm going to move that 80 uh, back to 50. So let's see how long that takes. Let's go. Oh, that was immediately. What's this? Go back to air conditioning. Stop. That's quick. Start. So the initial uh, time takes long, but when it's online, it's quick. So go back, go back, uh, settings, put this back at 780 and reduce AC charging, done. Done. Oh, huh. quick, very quick. So something is going well, but if the car is on sleep mode, it takes a bit longer. So it's not always connected. Uh, for your information, I am currently running. Uh, go there, go down, settings, go down, system information, I am currently at 0783. So this is basically 2.0 and hopefully uh, at 2.1, when there's OTA over the air update, uh, we will uh, have a quicker connection than we uh, just show. Uh, I'm gonna put the reduce AC off and then we are ready to go. So, uh, what do we have more? Well, the, in the neighborhood, the charging location of the neighborhood, but beside that, I just can't uh, yeah, put, let's say, the navigation on that uh, location. Now, let's see if I even can try it. Click, can charge, no, 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 no. Uh, I can even call. Oh, I can. Uh, Santa Fe car. 
interesting. Let's go back. Navigation. Let's see how long it takes. Or any other location, can I put it like that? Just like that. Navigate center vehicle. Destination set to, send to vehicle. Hmm. Cut. Any moment now, as if it's the same as the uh, AC. Maybe it can take a bit longer. <laughs> so yeah, what do I have more? You can filter uh, the type of chargers, or you can search your address and it will search it for you. I'm still waiting on my uh, card to uh, choose the destination to there. Uh, I send it to the car. So I will just move on, and as last. Uh, you can change your profile, you can ask for help and your feedback. Um, so that's uh, I'm just keeping my profile a bit hidden, don't worry. And uh, for help, you can call it, call help or mail them or give some feedback. So like that. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna try one thing, I'm gonna start the car. I'm gonna wait 10 more seconds and then let's see if the uh, navigation goes otherwise I'm gonna just start the car and see if it uh, accepts the location I do have two bars so yeah let's see this car is on so basically come on on Full, fully on and uh, ta-da! Basically, when you start the car, it shows the uh, destination. Now let's say view and start. Okay. Hmm. Well, it works, but you need to start the car. So yeah. Um, I think this concludes the uh, app. Software version 1.4.0 with software version of the car 0783. So, in the ID4 first next. I'm gonna put this phone. I'm gonna ask you if you like this video, uh, put a like or put some comments below. And thanks for watching. I will see you again next in my next video. So, later! <sighs> mm -hmm.